Carrie Katona has candidly reflected on her relationship with late ex-husband George K, saying he would spit in her face. The singer, 40, revealed that she even hid in a cupboard with one of her daughters because she was so terrified of him in an interview with Ulrika Yonson in The Sun. George died from a drug overdose in July 2019 at the age of 39 and Carrie has often claimed to have suffered domestic violence during their three-year marriage. Speaking with Ulrika, Carrie recalled locking herself and her child in a cupboard and added that George once threatened to rape her and her mother. Speaking about abuse, Carrie said, The worst thing he did was spit in my face. I got to the point where I would rather take a good beating than have him spit in my face. The mother of five also detailed how she would hide bruises before appearing on TV, however said the worst thing was her older daughter seeing what was happening. George was found dead at the age of 39 following a drug overdose and during their marriage he had battled mental health issues. He and Carrie tied the knot in 2014 and shared daughter Dylan Jorge, 7. Carrie is also mum to Molly, Lily, Max, and Heidi. The former Atomic Kitten star also emphasized to her friend how hard it feels to leave a violent relationship. And although battling tough relationships, with Carrie also saying her first husband Brian McFadden was unfaithful, the star detailed how she's now happy. Carrie is engaged to fiancé Ryan Mahoney and although thinking it would be selfish to have another child she's not against the idea and has frozen her eggs just in case her beau wants a baby. Turning her thoughts to why she's been married multiple times, Carrie told Ulrika that she thinks it's to do with not having a nuclear family as a child herself. She explained, I didn't stop to realize how much my kids loved me. It wasn't so much that they needed a dad, it was me craving that nuclear family. Elsewhere in the candid interview, Carrie spoke about her latest business venture, an OnlyFans account. Carrie revealed to you Creek all her page has made its first £1 million, and even encouraged her to make her own profile on the site. Reflecting on how she's worked since she was 14, twice bankrupt Carrie said she's got no problems with taking racy pictures and selling access on the site. She detailed how those who question her decision need to ask themselves what the difference with between paparazzi making money of snaps of her on the beach and her taking control and making the money herself with only fans. Carrie has spoken about her relationship with George in the past, revealing in 2019 that she believed he would have killed either her or DJ if she had stayed with him and said their daughter had started spitting in her face as she copied her troubled father. Earlier this month, the star tearfully told The Sun that she feels anger over George's selfish addiction that has left their seven-year-old daughter without a father. George is my baby's daddy and she's never, ever going to see him again and I've got so much anger towards him for that. I'm so angry, Carrie said in between tears. You become very, very selfish when you have an addiction. Has going to be missing out on so many wonderful things, because that kid is one amazing kid, she continued. Carrie touched upon the domestic violence she claims to have suffered while she was with George during her appearance on Loose Women. She said, George had very many issues. By the time I'd worked all these issues out, I was already madly in love with him, we had a baby on the way. We've known each other since we were 14. I always fancied him. He always fancied me, and when the violence started it's like you're being groomed. Everyone tells you to walk away but you can't. When I got a good hiding, 
it apologized to him. I feel guilty that DJ didn't get to see her dad for a year, I really do. In not slagging him off, I would hand DJ over and it fear I wouldn't get her back. He would spit in my face, and then DJ started to spit in my face. Carrie added, I know if I'd stayed with George the first be dead. I know it 100%, or DJ would. I'm going to stand by that until the day I die. It was never going to happen, him change his life. For confidential support call the Frafo National Domestic Abuse Helpline, run by Refuge on 0808. 2000 247